Let's get the D75 working with Bluetooth for GPS data. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Real quick before we get going, I've got to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. Now before we connect the D75 to the Linux Mint laptop, there are a few settings on the radio that we need to make sure we get correct. First up, at menu item 400, we want to verify that the GPS is on. Next, let's take a look at menu item 930, which is the Bluetooth, and make sure that the Bluetooth is also on. For menu item 980, we need to make sure that that is set to COM plus IF. And for menu item 981, we want to make sure that the GPS interface is set to Bluetooth. Now that we've got all the settings correct on the radio, and guys, if I happen to have missed one and somebody points it out, I'll leave that uh, as a pinned comment down below. But now that we've got those settings uh, correct, let's go ahead and jump over to the laptop and show you guys how to configure this. All right, so the first thing we want to do is use menu item 934 on the radio and put the radio into pairing mode. Once that's in pairing mode, just go ahead and open up your Bluetooth interface on your Mint machine. Click on the search button. We'll give it just a second and it should find the D75. Once it finds the D75, let's highlight it and then let's click this little key icon right here to pair with the D75. You'll have to click OK on the radio for the pass key. And then right up in the top corner, you'll need to click confirm on that as well. If you look at the radio, it should give you pairing complete. And you'll notice we get this D75 disconnected. That's okay. That's what we expect for right now. Once we have that paired through the GUI interface, we're just going to go ahead and close it. Now, if you miss this next step, it's not going to work and everything's going to be kind of hosed up. What you want to do is make sure that you turn off both APRS and the KISS TNC on the radio, and you can use Function 5 on the radio to cycle through until neither of those are showing on the screen. Once again, we're going to uh, use menu item 934 and put the radio into pairing mode once again. Now we want to run our first command at the terminal, and that's going to be HCI tool space scan. Go ahead and press return and give that a minute to scan for the D75. All right, and you can see right here that it did grab my MAC address. Now I'm just going to highlight that, right click, and say copy. If by chance it doesn't find your D75 on the first uh, scan right here, you might have to run that twice, but typically it'll find it on the very first scan. The next command up will be sudo space rfcom space bind space forward slash dev forward slash rfcom zero. We're going to give another space. Then we're going to paste in our MAC address. Give it one more space and we're going to put a two out here at the end, indicating that we want to use channel two. From what I can figure out on the D75, it has two Bluetooth channels. Uh, channel 1 is for audio, like for a Bluetooth headset, and channel 2 is where we're going to get the GPS data. Let's go ahead and press return here. So after we've created this connection, the next thing we need to do is update our GPSD config file. And remember this RFCOM0 data right here. We're going to need that in just a second. So let's go ahead and run sudo space nano space forward slash etc forward slash default, forward slash GPSD. Once you get into this file, we're going to come all the way down to devices right here. And if you remember, we had forward slash dev, forward slash RF com zero. So we want to make sure that that is what's plugged in right here under devices. Once we've got that, we can press control S to save that information and control X to get out of it. Now that we've updated our GPSD config file, we need to restart GPSD. We'll do that with sudo space system ctl space restart space gpsd. You'll see that it says D75 connected up in the top right hand corner on my machine. Next, we're going to run cgps 
And if we go ahead and press return, you should see all of your GPS data populate in this box. I'm going to press Q to get out of that. Once you've got your GPS data and you're done with that, we can use sudo space system ctl space stop space gpsd to stop the gpsd service. Once we've done that, we can go ahead and release that rfcom device. We'll do that with sudo space rfcom space release space all. Go ahead and press return and that will get rid of that RFCOM connection that we created just a second ago. Now you know how to extract the GPS data over Bluetooth from your D75. If you found today's information helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.